Kirsten and we will present the study we did at Kimsta Pond, where we are looking at whether or not the wastewater plants are working up to standard treatment, <laughs> and if it's uh, possible to go swimming in this uh, water. You will go. Do you have anything to say on this? I will. I don't have it yet, but I will find out. But let me introduce myself first. I'm Bolina, and I'm a six-year-old girl, as you all can see. <laughs> I live in Grimsdor Paul, and I think Grimsdor Paul is a really nice place. There's a river coming in in the inner part of it, and you have a long bank uh, with the, which is dry when the low, it, uh, low, uh, look, the high and the low tide is coming in. Then we have a deeper area in the middle before you reach a small narrow threshold which uh, allow for low amount of water exchange. So let me show you an overview to place it on a map. See? <laughs> need to uh, treat the wastewater themselves within NIMI wastewater treatment plants, which left the wastewater direct, directly into the um, environment. You see the output uh, sources at these uh, red uh, triangles on the screen. There are also a lot of environmental runoff from the area, as shown with this green arrow. Up there, we have a greenhouse. We have some agriculture down here with horses and stuff. But today, I'm going to take a swim at four different locations. I will start upstream from all the wastewater outputs. Then I will progress down the river and then into uh, against the port. So I think I'll just jump in the water. Hello. Who are you? And how do you work? Hello. Hi. I'm the air protect factors, and I will not affected directly, but in the summer I will make the water warmer, which decreases the oxygen levels. But I'm also the phosphorus, and come from the increased urban activities, but also use of fertilizer. So increased biodiversity and algae growth can be caused me. So I will affect you indirectly. So as you see here, we have four different sites in Grimsapon and they are classified as good, except site 3, which is less good. Yeah, thank you. I think I will check a little, a little bit more around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Who are you? Hi, I'm thermal tolerant bacteria. Uh, and I'm an indicator of several types of microorganisms that live in the water. Some of them might even be pathogenic. <laughs> they can cause you diseases, like diarrhea. <laughs> um, we're all from people origin, meaning that we come from shit. Um, <laughs> I came from an uh, outlet just up here, from one of the houses. Uh, but I think some other guys came from other places, like this one. He came from a horse, one of the nice horses you were talking about, probably. Yeah, they are. And I think these guys will use to fertilize a field close by. Actually, when it rains, I get a lot more friends here, and then it gets really messy. <laughs> <laughs> but how does this affect me? Uh, actually, all the sites you want to go swim at uh, has really good values of me. So I don't think I will affect you that much. But maybe you have to ask around a little bit more. Do I have to do anything, everything here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello. Hey Hi, I'm Maria Lusty and I live in the sediments. I can be used as an indicator of water quality. Some of my friends might tell you that the water is safe, but if you find others, then I would stay away if I were you. According to phosphorus over there, you should be able to find many of me, but since you haven't, well, maybe there are other reasons as to why I'm not here. For example, the 
there is a large field just south of here where there are these big, scary, flying metal thingies that come and go all the time. I'm pretty sure they leak something nasty out into my home because I don't feel too good when, I'm, when they're around. At the moment, uh, all the uh, sites where you want to go swimming uh, have pretty low values of me and are getting poor quality. So if I were you, I would not go swimming here because what kills me might also kill you. That's actually a good point, I think. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I understand that it's right. The phospho levels seem to be okay, but not great, right? Yes. And the TCP levels are good. Yeah. yeah. But the biodiversity. Oh, I'm rubbish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but does the way US handle have, have any impact on the result? Oh, it sure does. I mean, you can kick me and you can grab me. You can even use the shovel on me. But you'll probably find more of me if you kick me from my home than if you simply grab my home with me in it. <laughs> also, kicking seems to stir up some of my more sensitive friends, like the stoneflies and black circles over there. Uh, they wouldn't be there if the water was too horrible. Um, my, some more robust friends of mine, like the oligo kids and the white circles, they can be found anywhere. Yeah, that's right. But I have another question. Because it seems like um, there's a different effect. Which uh, one has the highest influence? The runner from the environment or the non soil point sources from the wastewater treatment? Can you answer me? I think maybe the TCV uh, levels is the best indicator for the point uh, source. And since my levels are really good, I don't think the point source of pollution has that big of effect on this area. Okay, anything else? Yes, um, I think most of the phosphorus concentration come from the non point sources, like run off by fertilizer. Hmm, by fertilizer. Uh, for me, I think the most uh, impact. <laughs> treatment seems to work fine, right? And the non-point sources, it's hard to uh, detect where they come from, <coughs> therefore they are hard to monitor. So, what should we do? Well, one thing we can do is testing for different toxins in the water, because we don't know what's in there, testing for it might reveal dangers that we don't currently know about. Yeah, That's it. but how, why should we do this? Have you any? Well, if nothing is done and a constant increase of phosphorus in the water may lead to eutrophication. Yeah, that's a good point. Sorry, my steroids are getting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that sounds expensive, and my daddy won't be happy to pay more taxes to clean uh, clean some water. He's up to the yeah big stuff like the bomb and thing. But anything else you can think of? Isn't a healthy ecosystem worth saving on its own? Like, everything is not measured in money. Like, having a nice place to go swimming, for example. Would any of you guys want to go swim in this? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thanks, <laughs> Would you? <laughs> uh, now that I'm grown up, my steroid really worked. So uh, now I'm grown up and uh, I've actually went to Grimsdapol for sampling. And then I fell in the water with full biohazard gear. And I can tell you this much, it is recommended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. That's all we wanted to say. Thank you for listening.